host, Travis, and as always, if you're a private detective or a member of any sort of law enforcement agency, would you kindly fuck off? Alright, now that they're gone, let's get down to business. As many of my regular viewers will know, tonight, I've promised to give you what you've all been waiting for. That's right, tonight, I'm actually going to show you one of my kills. Now, for those of you who might have missed an episode or two, let's have a quick recap of what we've learned so far. First thing you have to do is find your victim. Make sure they're alone, and whatever you do, don't let them know that you're following them. Next, you want to approach your victim. Everything's much easier if you can convince them to come willingly. Hey, what's up? Oh, not much. What are you doing? We just had some time to kill. It's me. Now, sometimes you can't do that, but that's okay. You guys remember my absolute bestest and most awesomely supreme maneuver ever. I give you the dash and snatch. And here it is one more time in case you missed it. If I had a nickel for every time that I kidnapped the wrong person, I would have two nickels. Which isn't a lot I know, but it's strange that it happened twice. Anyway, that segues nicely into my most important lesson, leave no witnesses. Some folks like to kidnap them, I prefer a more permanent approach. Does that make me crazy? Probably yeah. Alright, now on to my second most important lesson. I always say that there are three crucial elements to a successful kill. Location, location, location. Always make sure that your kill room is someplace that you aren't affiliated with. Too many promising young killers have been caught because they were caught killing inside their own homes or offices. So, here's a lovely little abandoned factory. And here's a nice little abandoned shack in the middle of nowhere. Oh, yeah. And here's an outhouse that I had to use for a kill one time, but, uh... Let's not get into that right now. The thing to keep in mind is, abandoned. Now I know your first impulse is going to be to kill them right away, but that's just rude. Remember, we're serial killers, not barbarians. Take the time to get to know your victim. Make them feel welcome. Let them know that they are in the capable hands of a caring psycho. You know what? If you're not going to say anything, then I suppose I'm just going to have to talk for both of us. Hi, Travis. You're very handsome. Why, yes, I am. Thank you. All right, so now that we're all caught up, I think it's time I told you about tonight's kill. I spotted her around town a few days ago. She always goes to the same spot at the same time every day. Now, step two, engage your victim. Uh, hi, is this seat taken? Uh, no, but you can sit here if you'd like. Okay, thanks. What's your name? Uh, I'm Travis, and you are? Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So, uh, what are you doing here? Well, um, I was supposed to be meeting someone here, but, uh, they never showed up. Well, if it'll make you feel better, I'd never stand you up. Oh, really? And how am I supposed to believe that? Well, how about we go to dinner this Friday? <laughs> okay. Yeah? All right. Okay, so <laughs> meet me at my apartment. And we can go out from there. All right. All right. Sounds good. Yep. See you then. Holy shit. That had to be the easiest step two ever. Now, she's due to be here any minute. Hopefully, I'll be able to show you guys a perfect step three. That's her. Wish me luck. I was worried there that I'd given you too much tranquilizer. And when you just didn't start to wake up, well, then I'd have to skip step four. What? What step four? What are you... Step four! Getting to know your victim! I had already gone through the other three. Step one. Spot your victim. Step two. Approach your victim. And step three. 
get your victim. Oh, you've been watching my vlog. Yep, it's my favorite. And I've decided that you're gonna be my first. I figure if I can get you, then I can add anyone. Well, that's very kind of you and all. I've never been anyone's first before. <laughs> yes. But uh, you still have a lot to learn. What? Well, for starters, you need to learn how to properly tie up your victims. But don't worry, I can show you the ropes. Wait, you're not gonna kill me, are you? What? No, of course not. I see some talent there, and with some training, you and I can do extraordinary things together. Now, I ask you here on a date, and I say we go on that. Okay. Wow, that kill could not have gone any better. I mean, perfect setup, perfect execution. Got a little bumpy there in the middle, but it wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Hi, honey, I'm home. Hey there, how was traffic? Oh, not too bad. Oh, <laughs> darling, you got a little something on your cheek. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, did you find a good victim for tonight? Yep, I, I figured we could get some dinner first and you know, you know, I hate killing on an empty stomach. Sounds good. Let me just finish up here and I can head up. All right. All right, thank you for watching. Hopefully you'll tune in next week with another exciting installment of Killing Time with Travis Baker. <laughs>